sorry we didn't see you guys there. I'm sorry, I'm so embarrassed. All right, everybody, welcome to episode 34. I'm Sergio. I'm Brian with an eye. Do not adjust your picture quality. We really are this handsome. Today we're gonna go over to Refugio, uh, today we're gonna go over to Refugio Timpson, Pop Poth, Harmony. I mean, I have a, we have someone that messages us on the page that wants us to talk about Poth, so we'll do that. We told you how we'll do that if you'll ask. And I didn't realize he says Poth's not too far from San Antonio. Yeah. Or is it? No, it's not too far. No. Uh, Poth, Harmony. Edna Franklin, Guetta Wimberly, and CC Vets in College Station. All right, we got Refugio and Timpson. Uh, Refugio's come with their, what is it, 13 to 1 record. Timpson's undefeated. Uh, Timpson, what did you say, preseason ranking? Timpson was number two behind the Shiner. Yeah. I think Timpson's number one right now. Preseason, we're going, by, we're going by the Dave Campbell's magazine, the Football Bible. Um, yeah, they had Shiner at number one, Timpson two, Refugio three. The current rankings I'm talking about, I don't know their Dave Campbell's. I don't know what they are, but whoever they are, they have Timpson number one. The ones that had a full heel, like four, oh, I think, okay. four, three, Shiner, six. Uh, <laughs> and a full heel's coming off the the miracle win over Shiner. <laughs> and it was like fourth and, I think they had a fourth and 12. And 12 on their own 18, and they threw an 8, or their own 13, they 13, threw an 87-yard touchdown pass. Uh -huh. And then I think Shiner fumbled in the next possession. Game over. You did it again, man. You always do it, Ifuyo. Uh, Timpson's coming off a 34-13 win over Cooper. Uh, we'll, we'll go over some, the road real quick, like that these guys took to get to where they're at right now. Uh, Ifuyo in round one beat uh, Ben Bolt. Uh, uh, sorry, Ben Bolt, but that's like what the score was, man. 66-14. Uh, then in round two, Ifuyo beat Holland, 56-10. Round three, Ifuyo beat Ganado, 53-7. Uh, round four, if we'll be Shiner, 27-21. Uh, That's how they got here. Uh, the only closed games, if we'll have, were the two the two wins over Shiner. Uh, the first one, I think, was 11 points. This one, six points. Uh, and then, the, obviously, the last, if we took at the beginning of the season. Uh, just for some stats for the teams, whatever, if we was got the – their last state title was 2019. They have five of them. Um, 1970, 1982, 2011, 2016, 2019. This is Refugio's 31st uh, straight consecutive year in the playoffs. I'm giving you love, Josh, and you Refugio people. That What's the other guy that messaged us the other day? I forgot, but told yeah. us to conclude him, so we included him. Um, yeah, but uh, your, your last state title was the one you had in 2019. Before the Shiner fucked it up for y'all last year when Shiner won it, but... And was Shiner's it, was that the game of Victoria? Shiner, the game of, there's one in back to back. Right, back to back. Do they have two? I thought they only had the one last year. They might, man. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, because they predicted. Oh my God, dude! I'm going off. Uh, <laughs> they're not playing Shiner. I don't give. A, I don't know why. That's why uh, Timpson. Timpson has no state titles. Is what yeah. I was getting at. Shiner did have the one last year. Yeah, yeah, two back to back. They have back to back. Back to back. Yeah, I don't, you get used to talking about if we were Shiner, man. I'd rather playing Timpson, but. Uh, Timpson's number one, man. They're for a reason. Uh, All right, a little bit of uh, some t Timpson stats. They uh, the first round they played uh, Groverton. They beat them sixty-three to three, and then they had Frankenstein, uh, forty-nine to seven. And then they played uh, Centerville. Centerville. They they beat them forty-one fourteen. And then this last one, they uh, they played Cooper, which they won thirty four to thirteen. And then the the only two games that they had uh, close all year were two district games, and they you know they barely beat Joaquin, that's in our district, and Garrison. So uh, I always like the name Joaquin. If I ever had a kid, I was the name of Joaquin. Joaquin. I never had kids. So. Yeah. Must be nice, Brian. So. <laughs> Yeah, looking up some of Timpson's uh, history, uh, they're, they're, the whole state power, what you would call, I guess, when they started their whole state power, so starting in 2017 under current head coach, uh, Kerry Thur Thurwanger, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, they had two straight regular season undefeated uh, seasons, uh, lost in round five in 2020 and round three last year. Uh, they don't have a lot of history, man, that they're they're being the type of team like on the Fujos level didn't start till a few years ago. Uh, 
It's not a new school. I mean, established in 1920, their football program at least. Uh, so we know a lot about them, man. But if if someone has you ranked number one above programs like the Fuji and Steiner, and looking at all the, the just all the games they played this year, man, they're all blowouts except for the couple they had. And but obviously they're beatable if they lost to a, if they barely beat a couple of their district opponents, the Joaquin and uh, Garrison. Um, yeah, any team's beatable in a, in a given night. Yeah, I mean, especially with Fuji, I still got to give Fuji credit for that. Yeah, yeah. That win over Edna earlier in the season, man. It just seeing how fucking awesome Edna ended up being and everybody they're blowing out. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll get to Edna in a minute, but uh, the Fuji and Timpson, yeah, I, I don't want to go over all the. I, want, I rather we wanted to give you a little bit more of the, the program history and stuff than go over all the player stats again. We we did that last week, but uh, I lose either way, man. If I say the Fuji is in a win, I'm being full of shit. If I say, if I say <laughs> Timpson's in a win, they're gonna think I'm doing it on purpose, man. I gotta go with Timpson, man. Yeah, I got the, and I'll get into it in a while. The, the team that blew you out in the beginning of the season is comes up in a minute with another common opponent. But T- Timpson, like I said, they're the real deal, man. Looking at the, all the games they've won, all the blowouts. Uh, I mean, Afu has a bunch of blowouts also, but I just think this is the year. And they're young. I just think this is the year Timpson gets gets their title. I know who you're gonna go for, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Refugio. I don't know how to put a score on it. I, mean, I don't see being like. And it's. I got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Timpson by two scores too. Okay, I have Refugio by one score. I don't know, like it's, and, it's gonna be by two scores. I see. And the only reason I'm going with Refugio is because in the Bible, it had Shiner over Refugio in the region. And then they had Shiner State Champs. So if they had Shiner State Champs, then in the preseason, I'm just going to swap the name. I don't know who got, who has the, the so, rankings that we're looking at. That's Timson number one. So, I don't remember. See, and they and the, and the Bible has Timson winning the region over Beckinville, Beckville. So the Bible is I mean, they got, sometimes inaccurate, especially when they rank. Yeah, they got Shiner and Timson correct, and then... I think Mart is still in Division Two. I think they're still in it too. So. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I mean, that they shared the photo. They still use the paper walkthroughs. I think yeah. it was a Mart. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go by one score. So I'm going by two. Sorry if we have fans. Second, Josh Pettis. Yeah. Uh, next, we got Poth and Harmony. Poth coming in with a 13-1 record. Harmony with a nine and five record. Uh, Poth's coming off that 12-6 win over Tidehaven. Uh, uh, Harmony's coming off a 36-22 win over Newton. Uh, we'll give a quick rundown of the teams they beat to get here. Uh, Poth, in the round one, beat uh, George West, 64-0. God damn, George West. <laughs> in round two, they beat Bowling, 42-24. In round three, they beat Taft, another local, 55-13. And then the last last game, they, they barely beat Tidehaven, 12-6. Uh, um, uh, Poth's one loss was a one-point loss to Shiner. They have close, close wins over uh, Blanco, Bowling, Tidehaven. Uh, but then they took care of Bowling again in the playoffs by uh, bigger margins. So it shows improvement when you do stuff like that, I guess. Uh, Poles got no state titles. Uh, until this season, they hadn't been past round three since 1968 when they went 14-1. and one. Uh, That's a little bit of Poles. Established 1952. That's a little bit of Poles' uh, uh, program history. What were they preseason They, they were ranked number seven. In Poles 3A in pre-season, Division 2. Yeah, preseason. Two. How about Harmony? They're not on there? Harmony? I doubt it, man. They have a lot of losses. No. They probably weren't expected to get this far. Tight Haven was 17. Yeah. All right, next I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the Harmony stats or the road to get to where they're at. So the first round they played uh, New Waverly and they beat them 25 to 20. Second round, they played Hooks, 37 to 23. Uh, third round, they played West Ruck, um, a Rusk, 38 to 35. That was a close one. Uh, and then uh, the fourth round, they they beat Newton, 36 to 20. So interesting thing about this team is uh, they started 0 4 for the season. Um, didn't take another L until Dangerfield. 
And then Dangerfield lost to Newton in the playoffs, and Harmony just beat Newton. So yeah, so that's another one they're probably allowed to improve a lot. Yeah, so a lot different with high school kids, man. From yeah, week one they've to never week won ten. What ten? They've never won ten games until 2017 under current coach uh, Tim Russell. Yep. And once again in 2018. So uh, good job there. Those are the, the only two staff, times, yeah. and this year I think they're at nine. So they have to beat these guys to get to ten. It ain't gonna happen. Yeah. You're looking at all the people y'all played, man, you have a lot of close losses, and then you have the five losses, uh, close wins and five losses. So you ain't beating Poth, man. Uh, but you get to round five. I can't even believe the round five. Yeah, yeah, that's hats off to you, man. Hell yeah, make it to round five. I mean, all their playoff wins were pretty close to playoff wins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they weren't blowouts. Yeah, we don't know a lot about harmony around here, man. Uh, both, both. Uh, my my friend did send stats for uh, what they did last week in, against Tidehaven. I keep forgetting to ask them what kind of offense they run. That it's always rushing. Uh, last week against Tidehaven, Poth had 302 yards rushing, 14 passing. Uh, Z Rabe was leading rusher with 206 yards. M Bun had 76 yards rushing. Uh, Solansky had 24 yards rushing. Yeah, all their stuff is to. To the ground, so I don't know what offense they run, man. I should have asked my friend, but uh, thanks for sending us the stats from last week, though. Um, I, I mean, it's, I don't. There's just too many close, close wins, and then all them losses they have. I don't see this being a close game, even though it's in round five. I mean, there's other round five games we'll talk about later that I don't see being close. Either. <laughs> Sometimes it just depends on the region you're in, man. I mean, it's not always as easy to say. Well, you're round five, you can, you're, you're good. It, you are good, but it just depends, man. It does not. I don't see it being a good match. Man, I, I got both winning by like 21 points. Not a complete blowout, but because uh, Harmony has improved. If you look at their uh, the game by game, but yeah, I, I got both winning by like by three scores. I got both winning by two scores. So uh, next up, we got Edna and Franklin. That's 3A D1. Edna's coming in with a 13-1 record. Franklin's a monster coming in at 14-0. Man, uh, Edna's road to get to to round five where they're at now. At, in round one, they beat Lyford 52 to zero. In round two, they beat uh, Randolph 16 to seven. Then they beat Blanco 36 22. In the last round, they beat Leno 40 to 21. Um, the one loss is to Refugio, I think it was a 40 to 21 game, 40 to 21 or 41 20, something 40, like that. 49 21, uh, I think. Shit. Where, you're, some... that, you're adding <laughs> for the Refugio friends. You're welcome, Josh. Uh, and it has no state titles. Uh, only one game. Other than the loss of the Fui, only one of their games was close. Uh, a six-point win over Bay City in the beginning of the season. Uh, head coach Jimmy Mitchell, he's the one that was at Sinton maybe like 10, he's 15 one of, years ago. He's one of Davis' like guys, that. man. Yeah, he's the one we're bragging about at the beginning of the season when we saw Edna's non-district schedule, man. That was, that's a piece non-district schedule Edna put together. That's, that's probably what's helped them get a lot better also, man. I, uh, yeah. They're a lot different now. I mean, this is the best season they've had since 1991. When they went 14 and one under coach Buzzy Watley, Buzzy Whitley, Whitley, getting them mixed up with Van Tom Watley from Alice. Hey. So a little bit about Franklin, how the road to get to where they're at right now. They played Hallettsville, the first game, 33 to seven. Then the second game was Anahavak. Yeah, we don't know how to say that, man. Yeah, so. Anahawak or something. Walk, walk. Uh, 32 to seven. Then in the fourth round they beat Hitchcock, fifty-three to eighteen. Hitchcock, Hitchcock and Hasbro both played the Fuji and Shiner, and I think one barely lost to Shiner, and the other one beat the shit out of Fuji. Yeah. And Franklin beat the fuck out of both of them, so that tells you how good Franklin is. Yeah. So Franklin twenty-four to twenty-one. To get to the semis, um, yeah, Hitchcock beat the Fuji 49 to 12. Yeah, and Franklin beat the fuck out of him, didn't they? And, and then Hallisville beat Shiner 14 7. That's right, they beat Shiner 14 7. And then, yeah, so Franklin is a state, they won state last year. So, it, um, let me see, the only one score game that they had was at, against Jasper. Does it show any of the preseason what they were picked, Edna and Franklin? Yeah, so Edna was ranked nine in preseason, so top ten, and then Franklin was number two. Who do they have ahead of Franklin? Brock. Yeah, looking at Franklin's history, man, it, 
the history to be a state power just started in 2011 under Mike Hedrich. If I'm saying his name right, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, man. But that's crazy to think that their their state power history is recent and they already have a state title. Probably going to win again this year. Yeah, the people are going to be pissed off, but I got Franklin beating you by like 21, man. I mean, if, if I'm sure you're not better than what if we'll beat you by 21, but it's just, I mean, they got the common opponents with the Franklin does with a Hitchcock and Howitzville, man. It, just looking at it, it's, and they killed them, dude. They killed two teams that killed a Fujio and beat Shiner. Yeah. Uh, that's how good they are, man. And then Edna had that loss to the Fujio. I, I got Franklin winning by like tw- by 21 points. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Edna. We got a lot of Edna fans on the page, man. Like we said, we, we keep it real. I don't know what you got, man. I, I'm going to go with Franklin. I, I'll go with Franklin. Um, man, hats off to Edna. I mean, I, 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 I'm I, pulling for them, man, but, like, Franklin's the real deal. I mean, it's still round five. It's the best season you've had since 1991, so yeah. it's still something to be proud of, man. I and, didn't even make the playoffs when I played. And I, he was know, off state. And I always says, you know, Piece of shit. don't forget about Edna. Don't sleep on it. But they, they had a hell of a run. Uh, but I think Franklin just uh, out muscles them. Yeah, I, I got him winning by 21 points, man. I, I, I'm going to be kind. I'm going to be like 10 points. You're a softy, dude. You're I mean, but, softy, but dude. hey, but you got you to realize, hey, you, Edna's probably going to come to play, but they, put up a good fight. But at the end, Franklin just pulls away. You know? Anything can happen, man. Yeah. Yeah, we make our picks, man, but once you get to round yeah. five, I guess anything can happen, man. But uh, yeah, I, that's, yeah, that's, that's right. And this is our opinion. Man. Just don't come at us. You can come at me. I like it. Hey, you come in too. I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. All right, next, next up we got Cuero and Wimberley, uh, 4AD2. Cuero's come in with a record of 13 and 1. <clears throat> Wimberley is 14 and 0. Uh, Cuero got to round 5 by beating Salado in round 1, 13 to 7. Uh, they beat Sealy in round 2, 41 18. They beat Hampshire Fanet in round 3, uh, 39 14. And then they beat Silsby in round 4, 58 56 and 3 overtimes. That, where was that? Yeah, so when you were messaging me about, it, I was, that was like the, best, San the best game I've seen in a long time. Yeah, it was Friday at 1:30. Um, they were playing in NRG Stadium in Houston, and yeah, they went to triple overtime, and 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 um, Coral pulled it off, 58. I got to see the ending because that's when you were texting me, and so I started watching it on. Uh, whatever YouTube or whatever had it. What was my way to my dad's San Antonio? And I, I knew a lot of people were, probably had Coral out. Because they were losing 20 to zero first quarter. And um, they scored right before half. So it made it 20 to seven. Kick off to Quarrel. Quarrel scored like in three plays. Then they they got a three and out. Quarrel scored again. So tied it up. So And it went from there. It went from back and forth, back and forth from there. So I didn't understand that new overtime rule. Yeah, they go. They you twice. only do two point conversions, right? Is that what it was? Or so I think the first two times, like the first overtime, you can kick a, a extra point. Second overtime, you kick a point. But then when you, but then the third overtime, they just set up at the three yard line and, and two if you point make conversions. It, yeah. You make it, you make it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, Quetta's only lost was to Cal Allen earlier in the season, twenty four to eight. Um, other than that, the only close games they've had is the two of the playoff games. Uh, Salado, they only beat 13-7, and then Silsby, the overtime game. Um, some history we give on the teams. Uh, Quito, I didn't realize Quito had four state titles. 1973, 1974, 1987, and 2018. Uh, in 73 and 74, was under Coach Williams Buster Gilbreth. In 87, it was under Coach Pat Blessing. And then 2018, under Coach Travis Reeve. Uh, I think he's the one that he was his dad was the... Head coach for Victoria, the late 80s, early 90s, when they had all them badass teams, Travis Reeve. Uh, yeah, so that's a little bit of history on, on Cuero, what they got to, to get here to round five. Um, uh, a little bit of the road to get to where they're at now for Wimberley. So round one, they played um, San Antonio, is that Mitzer Academy? Y M A L A. Y M L A. Yeah, I don't know what kind of. So that that was uh, whew, uh, eighty-one to zero. <laughs> and then young, uh, young men leadership academy. I think is what it stands for. I don't know where that is or what it is. But. Then round two, they had Orange Grove. They beat them forty-eight zero. Third round, Gerald. They uh, Wimberley beat them sixty-four to six. And then Lago Vista forty-nine to thirty. So. Their close wins um, against Canyon Lake and Fredericksburg. 
Well, Geronimo Navarro and Lago Vista, yeah. So Geronimo was the one that beat Bishop earlier in the playoffs. Is that who and, Bishop? Bishop. Yeah. So then you have uh, Wimberley has two state titles from two. They have one in 2005 and, and one in 2011 under Weldon Nelms. Um, the Sergio was just informing me that this, this school's only been open since 1988. So I didn't even realize that until I looked it up. Yeah. We're looking up, trying to get a little bit of history from the different schools. I didn't realize Wimberley was that new, man. So, yeah, wow. Okay, well, hats off to them. Yeah, that's going to... They've got it's the 14 be a good one, man. man, but they've got a lot of close wins. Eventually, all them close wins catch up to you, man, especially against Cueto. I got Cueto winning, man, and I got, it's another game that I'm going to say Cueto. I got Cueto by, by two touchdowns. That's exactly what I was going to say. Um, Cueto by two touchdowns. Uh, they just, that... Um, that defense, um, well, they gave up a lot of points too. They had a Silsby had a little shift receiver, man. They had a the well, they had a couple of good really... receivers, but um, I see them making adjustments. I see them. I mean, tradition. They're they're another team just like the Wildcats that you hear quarrel gobblers and they people get all like, oh shit, you know. So um, they bring their fans. Um, that Cueto D versus the Wimberley off. Look at the Wimberley, the, all these scores you rattled off. Man, they're putting up a lot of points in the playoffs. 81 points, 48 points, 64 points, 49 points. Yeah. Cueto's whole thing was their defense, man. But that, I think that's the first game to give up a lot of points. It's still speed yeah. the triple overtime. What was the score before it went to overtime? To like 30. It was already in the 40s or 30s? Or maybe in the 40s, 30s. Yeah. Because you got to remember they scored 16. Yeah, they, so subtract that. Yeah, it's gonna be the Quito D versus the Wimberley offense, man. But I, I got Quito winning by 14 points. Yeah, I, I have the same way too. I just uh, like I said, they'll make adjustments. Good coaches, they're they're co real well coached. So yeah, I see Quito winning. All right, uh, next up we got we got CC Vets and College Station. Uh, CC Vets coming in with 12 and 2 record. College Station also 12 and 2. Uh, CC Vets rode to round five. They beat Medina Valley in round one, 70 to 14. Uh, they beat Edinburgh Valley in round two, 14 7. They beat PSJ in North in round three, 20 to 6, 20 14. That's what it, yeah. And uh, my mind's going blank. What the fuck did they just beat? That was it? Yeah, the North, yeah. Who did I leave out? Oh, I, that's where I left. I left out round three. They, in round three, they beat McAllen, 49 to 14. Mm -hmm. And then the last game for the regional championship, they beat PSJ in North, 20 to 14. Uh, their losses are to New Braunfels Canyon and El Campo. That, that Colts win events against Carroll, that they only won 28 21. That's shit, man. Even Alice can put up 21 points. <laughs> it's like, it's weird. Like, I don't, Betts is weird this season, man. Y'all y'all get mad because it's a lot of the predictions, when we do the predictions, I predict you ought to lose. I predict you lose to Vela, to PSJ uh, North, and to Miller. But that's because some of these games you all have, man. Y'all. Take too much personal, man. You got a lot of your up and downs this season, man. But uh, uh, they, they've just established 2016. I forget about that, man. They, their first new, full man. varsity season yeah. to count it was 2016. Yeah. Um, I think when David Soto right, was quarterback. Wasn't that the Soto kid? Yeah, around there. Their overall record looks nice on paper because they're a new school, 62 and 16. Uh They've only had the two coaches, man. The the Sim, Sim, what was his name Simper before, and then Ben oh, Bittner now the last two years. Um, I was right. in a hurry because Steve was just looking at me while I was writing. So uh, here's a little bit of uh, College Station, um, how they got to where they're at now, the road to the semis. And so so they played San Antonio Wagner. Shit, I remember Wagner was a powerhouse back then, man. Wagner um, runs that triple option shit. So College Station beat them 37 to 19. Then the second round, they played Angleton, 27 to 20. That was a close one. Um, third round, 52 to 28 against Georgetown. And then um, they had a, a goal line stance. I saw this a couple days ago against Smithson Valley. Is that how they won that? 26 to 21. Yeah, they I think were. The game's up to watch, it was but I haven't seen it. Second, so I think last play of the game, and, and they were they were in the goal line, maybe two yard line, and uh, uh, College Station stuffed them, man. I mean. Um, Heads off to them, but yeah, that's that's their road to to where they're at now. Um, they have losses to Love Jay, fifty. Lucas Lovejoy. Lovejoy. 
Georgetown. Okay, so they beat them in the beginning. Well, Georgetown they lost won. To Georgetown by a good score in the regular season, and they beat. And they came back Georgetown to it. So the like revenge that. factor. Yeah. Revenge factor. My revenge factor shit. It, it, or it, improvement. Maybe it's improved a lot. The revenge factor. Sergio's revenge factor. So, uh, their last state title was in 2017. So, Matt, tell me if I'm seeing wrong. I looked them up. They're another one, dude. They're at a new school, dude. Not even like 10 years old or something. Oh, wow. And they already went to the state. It doesn't sound right. College Station sounds like a name I've been hearing forever. Is it just because of... Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's true, man. I might get to mix them up. Sometimes I mix them up with a consolidated for some yeah, reason. Yeah, you got schools popping up left and right. Like crazy. They're just... Like, I remember back then, you just had the traditional 5 4 3 2 one a. That's it. Whoever, no division, no nothing. No, broken up. Two, uh, two team playoff bracket. It didn't make sense at first, and they broke it all up. I guess now that there's so many more schools, you can go eight. And, you can go eight and two and still not make the playoffs. <laughs> Kingsville did that once in the '90s, man. That's some nice eight and two season. I didn't make the playoffs, man. It's so weird. Uh, especially back in the day when there was just one team that would make it. Yeah. One team would make it only up until 1980, I think. Then they started putting two. two. Now four. By the time 1990 is when they started three. Years. By the time the babies in high school, they're gonna have like seven teams. And I don't know when off. they changed to four. When did they change to four? <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, man. But I did my uh, Mr. Know It All 49 to start. Look, uh, I guess I understand. Like some of y'all don't understand. Like sometimes when I do the Mr. Know It All, it is just trolling. But but sometimes it's real. Uh, I was being serious this time, and that's why I went on. I did my show and I was I say did I talk about him in this last one? Uh, yeah. I, I mentioned something. It was a comment you had made about. Yeah, I'll say my prediction right away. So we can just talk about it. <laughs> what you're you're, just, you're gonna have him winning. I know you are. You put you already said you think they're gonna upset him. I say I, look, man. I have College Station winning forty nine to seven. Like I said in the last episode, I did. And that's because I that's what I want to happen. It's just it's a different level of talent, man. It's going to be something similar like when you all played uh, Cedar Park in round five a couple of years ago. I mean, you think because you make it to round five, yeah. you're automatically on that level. But it just depends on your road also to get there. You all got to play three Valley schools on your way to, to round five. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I'm not saying that's to diminish what you did, but it's just keeping it real. It's to make you understand why I'm predicting what I'm predicting. Uh, why College Station is going to beat you 49-7. to 7. I don't hope that happens. That's just what I think is going to happen. Before I keep going, we'll let this guy make you happy for a while. Um... Man, so I, I, I watched the game when they played, you know, PSJA North. And, okay, let me let me go back. So I read some comments on, on, on the page where we always, they're always the underdogs and all that. But the Bible here has them winning the region. So they weren't underdogs. I mean, maybe some fans out there or other people has them as underdogs, but... According to the Bible here, Dave Campbell's they they have him winning the region. So a lot of hype coming in with that North game. Um, I was really impressed with the front four for vets that stopped that running attack. Um, yes, it was a close game, could have gone either way. Mistakes on both teams. Um, but real impressed in stopping that, that quarterback, man, because that quarterback ran all over Miller. Happy made Miller Gilmore's look caddy. silly. Happy yeah. The Gilmore's caddy. So I mean by doing that. You know, containing the quarterback, that I think that helped a lot of the game plan. So, I'm, I'm. It was a good going, matchup for vets because their D line's good. I'm going with the upset. I don't know. I just have a feeling that. Oh, damn it, um, dude. It's just because of that last game, dude. Smith and Valley and College Station. Like I don't, I don't know. It's just too close. I don't. Smith and Valley's in another level also than these teams that vets is playing. Though that's what you got to realize. That, like one of my friends is arguing on another forum, and he puts all the stats up for College Station and. Next to vets, and you see we're equal. No, because you're not playing the same competition they are during the, during the season, yeah. man. It, it ain't that simple, man. Um, say a score, dude. We don't have to say defense, a score. Yeah, How many defense, do you think defensive ball by? game. I'm going to go. I think they beat them by. Vets will upset them by four points. Yeah. I, I'm not sticking to my guns, man. I know it pisses a lot of you off, but I, I got. College Station winning 49 7. And like I said in my last video, that none of you from Vets probably watched anyway. I'll say it here anyway in case some of you are watching. Uh, I'll make a personal, like, individual video, apology video while wearing Vets shit if I'm wrong. 
uh, and not even just you have to win. If you even keep it close, I'll do that. I'll make an apology video because I, I got it. I, I don't have it close, man. And it's like I said in my last video, there are just things we have to do around here to catch up to the rest of the state that we're, we're not on that level yet. Yeah. We're not on the level of the college stations. I know Calabria and, beat them a few years ago, but that was a much different college station team, man. These guys just went to the state title game last year and barely lost to that Katie Pateau, uh, Pateau team that, the that demolished Florida Bluff, 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 man. Yeah. They barely lost to them in, in uh, overtime. That's because that Katie team shouldn't even have been in 5A, man. That 3,500 enrollment. But it, it is what it is, man. I, sorry. I, got, I, I got college station winning 497. You said yours. We'll get to some of y'all's comments. Yeah. David Guevara says, I hope all teams in area win and no injuries. <laughs> <They're> all... <laughs> Excuse me. Marcus Zarate, I think it's the guy that does the videos and the photography. He says, I'll be at the end of Franklin, shooting for Franklin tomorrow night. Should be a good one, but I've got Franklin. Yeah, he's got Franklin, man. Fra Frank, we talked about them earlier, man. It's a beast team, mm -hmm. man. Uh, Marvin Zinsemeyer replied, though, y'all haven't seen that up close. You going to the game? <laughs> I mean, we've seen you, man. We just can't get the image of the Fuyo stomping you out of our heads. It's the only thing. Uh, yeah. Bano Cavazzo says the, he's, he's picking the Fuyo to win, both, both to win. Franklin, Wimberley, College Station are my picks. There's a lot of people picking College Station. So give it our, <laughs> the worst, no, who is he being? Oh, okay, the Fuyo over Timpson. Uh, Gabriel Ramos has Timpson, Poth, Guero, and TC Veterans. Joey Rosales, he's the one that was messaging us. Uh, I think he's a Tide Haven fan, right? Yeah, yeah. So they lost to both, man, but he's still, he's still participating. He says he's going to both the Timpson and Fuyo game. Oh, that's right. They play tomorrow, I think. Yeah, they Thursday play tomorrow. Game. Yeah, Thursday game, yeah. And he says he thinks Timpson by six. And he's going to both Harmony game and thinking Harmony by three. Uh, not hating, but if they shut down Newton, wow. Uh, yeah, they're the team that should, yeah. Uh, should be some great games. Ben Pettis says that Fuyo is the only one I care about, but I'll go with both Frank and Wimberley and veterans. Yeah. Amy Dolich. Do Do uh, hope I didn't screw it up, but if I did, I'm sorry. Uh, Edna's winning this one. So, yeah, I got some Edna fans over here. Um, Mo Eunice. Eunice. <laughs> she, I forget. She told me what her real name is. I forgot. Uh, wishing <laughs> Vets, Refugio, and Cuero best of luck. And she had, he had, she had a, a reply and Edna, and then she added Edna too, so... Yeah, she's the Cal um, Allen fan. Yeah, she's always she's a good participant, man. Top fan. Yeah, you're our number one so, follower. We love you. Um, Romeo Vela, my opinion. Timson, Post, Edna, Wimberley, College Station. Good luck to all teams. Okay, Mary Perez, top fan. Uh, Gobblers, Bobcats, and Eagles. How does that work, dude? Did the page just assign top fans on its own? Because I, I don't pick. I don't, that I don't stuff. pick no top fans. Can you, how is Adrian Salazar not a top fan? I know. <laughs> We need to make them and see if we can I make wish, them a top fan. I don't fan. know. If a, you people that are top fans, I think it's just automatically generated. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we're going to figure out a way. But Adrian. We're going to get Adrian on the show next Hell yeah, next man. season. He changed his. Uh, Greg Berkman. Well, he had he had North decal. Now he has Vets oh, decal. Oh, that's right. He, had, he, had, he has Vets now? Yeah. Oh, so he went from Bebo to Vets. To Be Bebo to well, no, North. No, no, no. So Kyle Allen, I don't, we don't even know that dude uh, yeah, anymore. He's yeah, it's crazy. Fucking meathead that goes for everybody. Anyway. Um, let's go. Joey Trevino, Timson by six, Poth by three, Quarrel by seven, College Station by 14, and Edna by seven. Joey's a Cal Allen fan. He comments a lot also. I don't, I don't know why he's not a top fan. Uh, top fan, Michael Dawson. Timson by seven, Quarrel by three, College Station by 20. You see? You're getting people's heads. That's what it is. I'm man. not getting anyone's heads. <laughs> <laughs> Just because that character. Marvin uh, Zinsmeyer. The Full Hill by 10. Harmony by 14. Oh, Harmony. Edna by 7. Quero by 7. College Station by 14 or 17. In between there. Oh, here comes a friend Thank of you, yours. Marvin. Um... Andy Garza, Refugio by seven, Quarrel by three, the Veterans Memorial by three. Okay. What'd you say by four? You're gonna excited. I said by he's, four. Yeah. I bet he's a, I bet he went to vets or something. <laughs> you wanna Robbie Rob, Robbie Rob, I think is the Miller fan. Yeah, Ron, let me know. I think you're the Miller Refugio by six, Quarrel by ten, Vets by six, Edna by seven, Poth by six. 
Brittany A. Rosie Pell. Rosie Paul. Ross I don't, Paul. I don't know. Ross Paul. <laughs> Edna Cowboys with a blue heart. Uh, Xavier Bernard. If it's Javier, sorry. It says Vets going to surprise people, win or lose. I don't see a blowout. If we were by 12 and ended by 7. Uh, Catarino Perez Cipriano. I think he's one of the yeah, he's like dude from the, the sidelines with the. He says, Afuya Po, the Edna Vets. Um, any live streams of the Vets game? Some guy was asking, we'll stream. Oh, okay, so I, oh, I, I put NFHS there. Network, but some guy says that that, that Cowboy Nation Network, uh, the, the YouTube page that it has, so it's going to stream it. Mm-hmm. Uh, AC Williams, master photographer, says, I got a feeling everyone wins. All the locals, he means, uh, he's from around here. Fucking sniper there, man. With that yeah, he says, he says, honestly, I got a feeling everyone wins. And then Michael Dawson decided to troll and say, feel again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Juan Vasquez, the piece of shit from Puerto Vaca Calhoun, says, the Al- Alice helmets by 10. <laughs> They're still fucking with that chrome helmet bullshit, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> like chrome? You fucking asshole. Uh, Alma Barrera Martinez says, the helmets were awesome. <laughs> Danny Gregory, I don't know where he's from. I, Danny Gregory says it's the end of the road for the Fugio. Uh, Let me see. Danny. Does it show where he's from? We're stalking y'all's profiles yeah. sometimes, man. Oh, he's Three River Bulldog, maybe? Is he? Oh, so there's where the hate comes from. Loving my new hats. Those are some cool I hats. don't mean to stalk your I, We just don't want to know where you're from. Yeah, so, we was. Because you're the first. Some, sometimes we mean to stalk him. Oh, there's some hotties on the page. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Me and I, he's married. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, those are some of the comments y'all left, man. We appreciate it, man, because a lot of y'all commented. Uh, I don't think there was any more on the other one where I posted. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, about thinking about the next episode. No, that, that's about it, man. But uh, we got quite a few still. I know, you know, posts not really right around here, but that's. They're probably going to win. Uh, if they win, they've got a good chance of winning, man. It's still kind of... Rep- I mean, they're near San Antonio, so... We'll cling on to what we get, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, who are you talking about? Poth. Oh, Poth, yeah. They, 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 they're yeah, probably... I, I, knew, I knew they were, like, before you get to the San Antonio area. Um, You've been around there? Oh, it's right there? Oh, okay. Oh, shit, I didn't know it's around this... Thank you, Producer Steve. Yeah. For the fun fact of the day. Yeah, man, but good luck to all the local teams, regardless if we troll you or your fans on the page, man. To those of you that get mad, we don't know what to tell you anymore, man. I make my personal videos, explain things to you. Uh, if you took the time to watch them, maybe you'd understand, but I don't know, man. But we hope, I hope everybody wins, man. Like, especially yeah. Vets. It's the one, look, I, I want them to win so that I can make that extra video. <laughs> Wearing y'all's gear, man. Yeah, sure. Just to prove to you that it ain't, it ain't hater comments, man. I, I don't, it don't take appreciation saying you're gonna lose forty nine to seven. It just, it, they play if, if college hasn't played my coyotes, they'd beat the shit out of them. Also, I mean, I would say it too, uh, just to try and keep it honest on here. But uh, hopefully, enough teams win at least one man to make another of these videos. But hopefully, all of them win so we can make another video next week. Uh, but uh, we thank you guys for following the page. Don't leave the page once the season's over, man. We're gonna keep posting, keeping updates on whatever this and that. Yeah, uh, yeah, Zoom. Yeah, don't disappear from the page when the season's over, man. Do go follow my friend's baseball page. I'm sure that dude already has like eight thousand followers. And he's only had it. Look, the people around here love baseball, man. South Texas uh, high school baseball is that how you see it? Yeah, but don't Guz- leave the Guzman, page. Guzman, Guzman. Yeah, Javier Guzman does a good job with that page. Uh, but yeah, don't leave the page once the season's over. But we thank you guys for following us. Yeah. Uh, good luck to all the teams this this week. Um, th- this is this is a big game for all of y'all. So uh, I'm I'm just excited for the young kids to the kids to experience the, the playoff round. atmosphere, the 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 pep rallies, the, the the team dinners. I mean, playing in December is a blessing. I, I wish we could have played in December. Uh, shit, I wish I could have played Thanksgiving weekend. You know, you have family down. And stuff I wish like I'd have made the playoffs. So eh, I. W- yeah, so good luck to all the teams. Um, yeah, and if if we pick if we pick your wrong team, uh, your team to lose, my bad. It's just an opinion. Don't come at us. But 
prove us wrong. Uh, and I was just... Hashtag yeah. prove us wrong. We got to get you a shirt made that says prove us wrong because that's your thing. Prove us wrong. Brian with an eye and that prove us wrong. Prove us wrong, yeah. I mean, that, that should be motivation for the kids. Yeah, fifth hey, round's fifth round, man. It's, regardless of ass- what we say or what, if you get, you could lose 100 to zero. At least you get to say you made the fifth round, man. That asshole looking Sergio want us to lose and say, hey, don't, don't motivate. Yeah, you no. get motivated, man. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's it. Thank you guys for following the page. Thank you.